having survived the introduction of TV, DVDs, movie rentals, piracy and downloading. For those in the movie industry, the death of cinema is not a foreign concept. If coronavirus wasn't enough, the cinema industry has taken another blow with major production companies like Disney and Universal choosing to release new films straight to digital amongst the ongoing rise of streaming platforms. I think cinema's greatest threat today is definitely the populace and the audience getting used to watching movies at home. There's no question that COVID has impacted box office. And whilst movie production has been booming, Cinemas have lost almost 70% of revenue in the last year. Film professionals believe it'll be a slow road to recovery. I don't think cinemas will bounce back entirely. It's like a mildly downward trend due to the rise of on-demand digital content to get to the widest audience possible. I prefer to watch my films in the cinema because when you're designing a film for like soundscape and whatnot, you design it in a cinema. Though local millennials, Gen X and baby boomers prefer to catch a movie in theatres, Gen Z makes it clear why they think streaming reigns supreme. It's cheaper, you can do it within the safety of your own home, you don't have to go anywhere. I think cinemas might be in their, their past. And while I've still got a good screen at home, the screen at the cinema is still bigger. And you've got all the people around you and if there's an exciting scene on the screen, you feed off the reaction of the other people a little bit. While the threat to cinema is still greater than ever, there's still a lot of love for movie popcorn, surround sound, and the big wide silver screen. Monique Pueblos, The Source News.